So I think we can all agree that this Massey Ferguson needs some engine work because it's got more blow by than it does exhaust smoke. So people were wondering, I put this pipe on here and taped a hose to it to send the blow by smoke up above the cab. That's what that was. Because if not, it was blown on the ground and used breathing all that in. It wasn't good. But so I'm going to get started working on this. So to make life a little easier, we're going to take the backhoe off. And people wondered how this hooked up back here. Basically, it's got four mounts, these two top ones and then two bottom ones. Pin slides in and then your hoses hook up. And then when you unhook it, you just double the hose back there. So it's pretty much how that goes. So I'm trying to set this off. Hopefully it comes off easier than it went on last time. Originally there was a connector right about here where it unhooked and then this line hooked it but I got a new hose made for this one so I'm going to unhook it here and it should just loop around and put over there and then I can hook that back on itself so dirt don't get in there. And this hose I'm just going to unhook it right here. Ooh, I might need another wrench. can hook up here 
when I got it, they just had these ends open, so that's not good. Perfect. Hope this is my first time driving this. Before I pull this inside, I want to take this bucket off of here.
Okay, so for safety, I have this boom here strapped around that I beam. I got two straps on it, so that's not gonna fall. So where to start on this guy? I guess I'm just gonna start at the front and work my way back and see where that gets us. I'm gonna drain this hydraulic fluid so I'm gonna take the cooler off. Good night. Ooh, I got a clean pan and clean buckets. That way I can reuse this. And one problem is this thing holds like I think 13 gallon. 
and I only have a five quart pan. Well, it fills this pan up quick. Check out the grease buildup and oil on this valve cover. Look at that. It's been a while since uh, somebody's messed down an ear, and then look at all this junk buildup on the exhaust. Surprised none of that caught on fire. Well, anyways, I'm going to get all this crap dug out of here and come back when something interesting is going on. Okay, so this is about to get interesting. I am the goal here is I'm just gonna unbolt this front axle and just roll it out. And I hope that's how it goes. So all the bolts are broken loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and hopefully this rolls forward. I got jack stands, jacks, and crib blocks underneath to keep the back of the tractor from tipping down. So yeah, that's the plan.
okay, that should be loose. This guy should be ready to come out. It's chained up. I got two bolts left holding it. pull forward. I bet this is going to be heavy. That's not terrible. I think this engine here is just a little too much weight on the back of this four wheeler. Look at that thing. See those that are straight and the shock's about to bow out? Yeah, that's not supposed to be like that. I probably should have used my little tractor for this. But anyways, I got it washed, brought it back. So now let's start taking this apart. I'm going to start by taking off this exhaust manifold because I feel like these studs are going to break. So I'll just go ahead and get it over with. Maybe not. Sprayed some oil on. Okay. Boy. Okay, sweet. We didn't break anything. Pulled the whole stud out of that one. And that one. That one. Well. We had one nut come out.
They probably make a tool to pull them out. All right, who's ready to see what's underneath this valve cover? A lot of uh, sludge. But also with its age, I guess that's to be expected. But yeah, there's a lot of sludge in that thing. You can see here's the lip where the seal is. Look at all that buildup all the way. That's quite a bit. Look at that. I guess that used to be oil once upon a time. So I'm going to keep tearing things apart. A little bit of sludge in the intake there. So here's what's inside here. I don't know how well you guys can see. You can see some scoring right there where the light's pointed. That's a pretty deep groove right there. That'll catch my fingernail. And there's a bunch over in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera. But yeah, that one's scored up pretty good. Then the center one here looked good. Let me turn. I hadn't wiped out this 
back one here. Yeah, this one here's got some really deep grooves in it right there towards the bottom. And you try and get the light where you guys can see. So yeah, it's got got some scoring and all these got a good where what do you call that? The wear edge or whatever where the piston stops. So it's got a pretty pretty good groove there. So anyways, I'm going to pull some more of this apart and see how far we get. So in a normal world, you take the oil pan off the engine, but I decided to mix it up today, so we're going to take the engine off the oil pan. I don't see what could go wrong. Actually, I see a lot of things that could go wrong. There it is. Hey, whoa, we're we'll gonna go swinging now. found our problem so this is the what cylinder is this hang on this is the front cylinder and it was the one that was chewed up a little bit well here's the rings i haven't even wiped the oil off of it because i wanted to show you guys but there's little see little pieces of them there see that used to be a piston ring and then the middle one it's up here and they all they're all good on it. The one I said looked pretty good. And then you come, this is the back cylinder. I mean, you can see the rings broke here. And yeah, and it's missing a chunk of the piston. You see that right there? So, yeah, this one is missing a big chunk. So yeah, that was the problem. It just had some broke rings. Time and cover off and see what we got here.
well. Okay, so what I'm working on right here is getting this uh, steering valve body out because this thing leaks like crazy. It's got slop in this, so hopefully we can fix it. There we go. So I wasn't going to record this, but I figure you guys might find this interesting. So let's take this guy apart. I looked, I, this thing was small, so I looked into buying a new one. And these things are like 1500 bucks. So we're going to see if we can't take it apart. Put some new seals in it. I feel like there should be seals in between those. Okay, nothing else coming out of that. See if we can get the top loose. Oh no, that's not good. one to come loose okay we got two of them out
Okay, so. So this is like this, it comes out this way. Let's try, I tried hammering it both ways and then it finally came out this way. There's a seal in there. I bet that seal there is our problem. Yep, it's not an O-ring, it's a seal. I bet that goes against that. So I bet somewhere along the line that's what's leaking. But yeah, that bearing is gone. That being gone, probably let that move. Then let this move and let it leak. So I had to guess. Get this bearing off the shaft. That's how you uh, press bearings off. So I need this seal here, this O-ring here, and the bearing that goes on this guy. So people ask me how you find parts. Well, easiest and the best way is if you got a parts book. So we need to go find the steering should be towards the back. Steering pump, power steering. Ah, steering control unit right here. Here's what we just took apart. So that's the whole breakdown of it there. So I need this seal up here, which would be number three. If you guys can see, number three. So I'm going to come over here to number three. It says ring. I don't know why it says ring, but anyways, there's a number for that. Then you can come down here, number nine is right there. That's a ring that goes between the two two spots here, this guy and this guy. So that would be our big one. Then this little one, I guess we're calling that a collar. Where it's thick. But that's where that goes. So there's, you know, you can see your numbers here. So you type that in Google and you're pretty much good to go. And we need, we also need number five, which would be the bearing. So we'll come to number five here. And then we need the, the bearing right there. So, yep. So I'll get online, find those, order them. And we should be in business. So as for the rest of this motor, here's the block. It's all stripped down. Everything's off. So, yeah, here's a crank. If you guys were wondering, it does have some grooves in it. Catch my fingernail on. Pretty much all of them do. So I'm hoping it, I mean, it's not terrible. 
I'm hoping they can just polish it, but if not, then they just have to uh, turn it. So, crank's ready, and then the head, I uh, disassembled it, and by disassembled it, I mean I pulled the valves and the springs out, so. And that's that. I'll show you guys the underside of this. I mean, it don't look bad. I'll get them to uh, surface it, make sure it's good. Make sure everything's within spec. I'm just taking the head and the uh, crankshaft to the machine shop. I don't think I need to take the block to make sure that's flat because I didn't have any head issues. So I don't think I need to do that. Then I'll, I'm going to take that to them. And then after that, whatever they have to do with that crank, then we'll just then I'll order the entire kit for it so I know what size bearings to get. So we're kind of at the hurry up and wait stage. As for the rest of the backhoe here, I am there's a few more things I need to fix on here. And a couple lines I found that are pretty rough I need to replace. So I'll do that while it's apart and it's easy. And yeah, I guess this was just going to be like a $500 rebuild. But now would be a really good time to paint this while the engine's out. So I kind of think this is leaning more towards a restoration. Not like a full-on restoration, but... I'm pretty much going to go through as much as I possibly can. These, all these loader cylinders need repacked. Oh, and, and I can get all that grease and crap out of there. So I guess that's what it's going to turn into. I think I'll wrap this one up, split this up into probably three parts. That way it's like, this is disassembly, the next time will be uh, either paint, probably a little bit of paint and reassembly, and then the final one of it all back together. So anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one. Check this out. Got some parts painted for this old girl. <laughs>